So Jay, when you have like uh, like a rare animal like we're talking about, and you sell them, what kind of prices can you expect for uh, for like well, a rare I mean, breed? Sometimes I don't even want to sell them, and that's going to make it even higher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, I've I've I when, when COVID started, I had to sell a few of my animals that I just absolutely oh, did no. not want to sell. Wow. But it was wow. either it was either the you know people you know I I, I always use the term living the dream, but you know what? It costs money to live the dream. Mm -hmm. And I had to make choices, hard choices like, okay, do I sell, sell my rarest animal in the zoo in order for the zoo to be here when COVID ends? Mm -hmm. And so I sold one of my, I sold the world's largest reticulated python to Abu Dhabi. Oh man. And uh, it sucked, but it was, what am I going to do? You know what I mean? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. Wow. And uh, you know, when you got, when you're literally, you know, when you got a hundred thousand dollars worth of bills minimum a month mm -hmm. and you just, nobody's there to help you. You just got to come up with a plan. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, so I just had to, I had to let a couple of really, really precious parts of my zoo go mm -hmm. during COVID. And it was, it was a tough situation. I mean, you know, cause these animals, I only, I mean, I've got decades in them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I literally raised that snake from a baby for the last yeah, they're 13 your babies, years. literally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know I mean? So it's like, it's kind of weird, you know? So, I mean, it, a lot of times we try, try to not get too attached to certain animals, mm -hmm. you know, cause I, obviously I have, if I get attached to everything, I, I could never take care of them all myself. So I want people to, you know, other people to end up with them. And so, but there's animals that we have in the zoo that are just like, I chose it from a baby. I chose its mom from a baby. I chose its mom's mom from a baby. The whole you know, bloodline. I mean, I, <laughs> well, no, I mean, I have snakes that we, I, I mean, we hatch snakes. When I talk about hatching a world's first, sometimes I have 20 years invested in it. Wow. Holy it isn't just wake up one day. People don't have 20 years invested in their marriage. Oh, no, really, though? In their family. They're pissed off at their dad and haven't seen him for 10 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's crazy. So the commitment, the commitment's really a big deal. And I, I try to stay committed to the animals, obviously, and uh, everywhere I can. And it's nothing's ever perfect in life. And things get sick. You got to take them to the vet. And, and one of our, we had a lizard that I just got a phone call this morning. We were just about ready to call the vet and pull the plug on it. Mm -hmm. And my daughter said, wow, she it looks twice as good today. Oh, wow. And yeah, it's and it's one that we we've had from a baby. And we had its mom from a baby, you know, and it's really famous animal from, mm. <clears throat> and we were like, can't believe this just happened. You know what I mean? No, no reason. It just one day was just acting all weird. And <clears throat> but and now it's looking like it's going to pull out of it. But that's wow. just part of life sometimes. You know what I mean? Definitely. 